306 years. A decent chunk of time for such a fragile object. Lucky enough for us, this one not only still exists, but is also in outstanding condition. The yardstick for a luthier, a nearly perfect example of a master's work. In like new condition, the ideal model for us to study. I don't intend this as a tutorial. You can replicate the process with careful attention, and I hope you do. The intent is not to create a perfect replica. It's a shell, a base form, a concise and well thought out blank, a starting point from which the tuning, contouring, edge work, and final handwork can be performed, and a starting point that allows us to concentrate on the fundamental skills that must be acquired in this art form, resulting in a consistent output that is reliable and eliminates the roughing work that requires little skill and over time can do more damage than good. Let's start with the outline. I use proportional design to develop the outline. Each dimension is set proportionally from the lower bout. We don't know for sure that Stradivari used this method. Still, the way it seems to fit with minimal changes from great master to master, that it functions with defined stylistic intent from Amadi to Guarneri, done with only a compass, makes me think that it's a strong and very likely possibility. Modeling the mesh surfaces is a tall task, something beyond pure CAD, reaching into the realm of art. These are incredibly complex shapes, recurved edges with changing radii, broad and stout at one end, thin to nearly flat on the other, as it transitions through the sea bout in a tight and deep band, tangent to smooth flowing elegant arches. I'm letting a few dimensions mainly the profile of the outline, the long central arch, and the modulating recurve define the arches with G2 continuity. This makes the curves flow naturally and feel satisfying to the touch, as I imagine the master would have also done, removing extra material where the eye and hand find it, guided by experience and mastery. With the inside, outside, and profile meshes developed and overlapping, they're used to trim each other and form three watertight surfaces that when stitched will forge a solid body. In the past I've used the trim tool for this. More recently I found the split body tool more efficient. I create an offset plane that defines the flat face of the inside contour and again split the body to isolate and remove the extra material. If the inside contour needs to be modified, it's easy to edit the mesh parametrically in the timeline and finish the form again to check the results. The cam is simple.
pocket operations to remove extra material, scallop to define the surfaces, and contour operations to determine the outline. I hope you'll try out this method and let me know how it works, where you run into trouble, and what you find that works even better. These files, and many others, are available on Patreon for the usual $1 a month, which I think is a fantastic deal. Whether you design your own version, download and cut out this one, or simply watch and enjoy makes no difference. What I truly hope is that this inspires you to get out into your own creative spaces, whatever it is, and make something. It doesn't matter how good it is, the work is its own reward. Thanks for watching.